The Redeemer Bible Church in Niagara Falls invites you to step back in time and experience the sights, the sounds, and the excitement of the first ever Christmas as they present A Night in Bethlehem. Well, it's an interactive nativity in our church gym. People get a chance to step back and see Bethlehem the way it was the very first night, the night that Jesus was born. When they arrive, they take a tractor down to the bottom. They enter our gym. They're then able to sign our census and they pay their taxes. And then they're free to roam throughout the gym. They could do pottery. There's a scribing tent. Uh, there's a painting tent. And there's also a loom. And then they can stop by and perhaps uh, chat with the innkeeper. And there's someone there that sort of explains about the inn being full and where Mary and Joseph had to go. Uh, there's live animals, so that's always a big hit with the kids. They love to pet the animals. And then the most important spot is the Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus. And this year we were able to get a live baby for both weekends, so we're very excited about that. When they're finished sort of their tour in the gym and in Bethlehem, we have a refreshment room. So people have generously donated cookies and sweets and they can enjoy some coffee before they head home. So this is like the total experience, like you're walking through the village and experiencing everything. Absolutely. It is. You, you smell it, you see it, you, you can taste it. Even when you're at the bakery, for instance, they'll have bread that you can sample. So you, it really is the full experience. Pastor, can you tell me why is an event like this so important to your church? Yeah, great question. You know, what we believe is that there is so much uh, busyness around the Christmas season, lots of clutter, lots of conversation, people saying, like, is there more to this Christmas season than just getting more stuff? And so we feel as a church that believes in the message of Jesus Christ, that we want to give people something to think about in terms of what is Christmas all about? And so that's why we are committed to doing this in a way that's not at all heavy handed or judgmental, but just in a way that says, hey, in a very interactive and fresh and creative way, just kind of journey with us and try to imagine being in the first century when Jesus was born and explore with us some of the sights and the sounds and just take some time to think about what is Christmas really all about. We see a lot of people here today and getting things ready. How many people are involved from your church? We actually have up to a hundred. Uh, each night it varies depending on people's availability. Um, and that does not include those that uh, baked beforehand, but that is uh, people in the parking lot, so outside, and those are the volunteers in the tents in costume. And then there's people in the refreshment room just to keep things going all night long. We start on the 5th of December from 6 to 8.30 p.m. and then the following Saturday as well. And then on the Sundays, December 6 and 13, from 1 in the afternoon till 4. And is there any cost to Night in Bethlehem? The great thing is, is free. We do ask for a donation towards Project Share so they can bring some canned goods into that, but it is free. We did it last year and we're amazed at the turnout. We had over 1,400 people through in the four nights. And so we decided let's dig deep again and let's go to work and let's put this on again this year. So we're really excited about it. A Night in Bethlehem takes place on December 5th, 6th, 12th and the 13th. For more information, visit their website, redeemerbible.ca. Reporting for The Source in Niagara Falls, I'm Bob, getting in the spirit of Christmas Romeo.